Hello. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Guess what time it is? Oh, yep. Well, so today I woke up and I had to hurry up and get out to the bank to make a deposit because I had to take care of some bills, y'all. You know, like normal stuff, but I had to leave my house. And then after I did that, I just kind of took a little stroll around Midtown just to see, you know, just to see what it looks like around here because it's, you know, we're on the quarantine and um, it's just, it's been beautiful. And it, it, it's, it's empty, it, it's, it's kind of sad, you guys but it's beautiful because it's an awesome act of love that we're doing for each other by staying home right and i, I know y'all wish you could see my lips right now if you could just imagine what they look like <laughs> doing my face but you know i'm keeping it safe out here in the streets but i just i happen to hey geo hey mario how are you how are you guys feeling today <laughs> I hope everybody's feeling good. So in my little adventure, I just happened to come across this beautiful mural. Isn't it just so gorgeous? I feel like it's symbolic of what we're going through right now. And I just love that instead of having a mask on, the beautiful flowers are, are covering his face and I just think that is so inspirational to me because here we are in the springtime and we are quarantined but there are all these beautiful flowers that are blooming and then and, and instead of like just thinking about hey we we're going through a hard time let's let's look at it as like the beautiful rainbow gloves and the beautiful hummingbird that is right there at the point of contact and they're the eyes are looking up they're looking up they're looking up I just love this, so I decided to pull over and take some pictures, <clears throat> and I figured I'm going to dance in front of it. What do you think? <laughs> because I didn't get my dance when I woke up, you guys. And you know what? This happens sometimes, because, you know, every single day is different. Every day is different. But we can still create a discipline, even in the differences, you know? And I'm just... I'm just going to figure it out. I'm just going to do a little something, okay? So I have, I have um, a song that I'm going to play that's one of my songs from the Beautiful Mess record. It's called Dopiate. It's if the word dopamine and opiate had a baby, it would be dopiate. I like to make up words, y'all. So, and this is the sped up version. I don't know how loud the, the car stereo is going to be, you know, I, I, I don't have the perfect production plan. This is all spontaneous, just in the moment, inspired. So let's just, let's just see what happens. I mean, I don't know what the hell is going to happen. We're just going to go with it, okay? And just, I just want, I'm so inspired by this mural that I want to dance in front of it. Okay. <laughs> Get your dance on. Okay, Gio, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Hey, Joel, how are you? Welcome. Welcome, everyone. I hope you're feeling good today. All right, so this is called Dopiate. I think I already said that. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm going to turn it really low. One day, you can be shining in the sun. Up in the crowd!
jumping around, you know what I mean? <laughs> that felt good. A little awkward, but so what? Awkward is beautiful. Oh, I just love this mural, you guys. I hope you're feeling the love from it that I feel. And that before long, we won't have to wear these masks anymore. We'll just have flowers in our face. You know, <laughs> but until then, we wear the masks and we wear the gloves. You know, I think Michael Jackson, if he was alive today, he would have some sparkly rubber gloves on. You know what I'm saying? Why not have some fun with this, you guys? Make fun of it, make light of it. You're not, I mean, we're taking it seriously, obviously. We're all at home except for me. I'm out here in a parking lot dancing with a wall. But, um, <laughs> we're taking it seriously, but I think we just need to have the, the beauty too. We need the beauty. We need the beauty of it too. And I hope you guys are, are seeing that beauty as well, that this is an opportunity that has never happened before in human history where we're all finally on the same page about something, you know, and that says a lot. And as we continue to look up, and we see the beautiful signs in the sky, the beautiful full moon that happened yesterday and last night, and the beautiful energies that it's omitting. It's saturating all of life's cells with magnificent clarity, further ushering in the new era paradigm, the new era and age of Aquarius. It's such a glorious time right now, but we're so caught up in protecting ourselves that Maybe we forget to rejoice and celebrate and be thankful that all these changes that are, are being forced changed right now, it's a big mess. It's a big, beautiful mess. But in time, this disappointment is, is, is serving us as an opportunity to make all the changes as a hum, human family that we need, that need, that we've been calling for for so long. So let's rejoice and see the beauty in this time period and lift our spirits and move around. And if we don't have the energy to move around, then at least visualize or, or, or eat really good food and feed your mind and your eyes and your ears with positive media. We don't, we don't have any time to make our spirits sink as well as everything else closing up now. We don't have time to close up our spirit and our soul right now. We need to open that up and enjoy it and use this as an opportunity to play and rejoice and move our inner energies in ways that feel good. And if you don't dance or don't feel comfortable dancing yet, that's okay. Find something you can do that you can move your body and feel good doing. Whether it's going for a walk, where you can earth and feel the earth beneath your feet and you can earth, 
or you know do jumping jacks a lot of times before something before a meeting or something i'll do like 20 jumping jacks real quick just to charge my uh, physiology up a little bit it also helps get the kinks out and helps you release tension how y'all like my beard <laughs> but anything any type of movement will help you feel better even just doing your arms up both of them up together if i wasn't holding the phone you'd be able to see but just inhaling and coming up and back down again just doing several of those will open up your beautiful lungs and help you release tension and stress. Just getting some physiology going somehow, you guys. Hey, Jacqueline, how you doing, girl? <laughs> hey, Darlene. Oh, Darlene's got the most beautiful grandchildren. I, I tell you what, you are so blessed. She was blessing us on her feed yesterday with her beautiful granddaughter. <laughs> She's so cute. Hey, Leon, how are you? Hey, Will. Hey, Will, how you doing? Have y'all seen anything like this before? Is this not beautiful? I just love this, this artist. Let's go see who the artist is real quick. This artist, can y'all see that or is it up uh, backwards? <laughs> it says A. Dasik Fernandez. Thank you, Dasik Fernandez, for your beautiful mural here in Midtown Atlanta. I don't know when this was painted, but I feel like it really speaks to what we're going through right now. I love the rainbow gloves. The rainbow gloves and the beautiful, beautiful flowers. And the hands opened up. So gorgeous, right? Oh, I've seen a lot of murals out here on my little drive today, you guys. So many artists are out painting on the walls. Don't you just love it? That's what artists do when the shit hits the fan is they just start making stuff. And that's what we do. And, and you know what? I believe that all of us are artists, whether we realize it or not. We all have creative ability in some way, shape, or form. And this is a wonderful opportunity for us to tap into it. If we haven't yet, or maybe we wanna go deeper into something, this is a perfect time to, to let our creativity soar. Oh, this thing is such a good protector. It's protecting me from getting oxygen. <laughs> it's got the little ventilator. Well, for me, I, I'm like, people are like, oh, you have such a cute mask. I'm like, well, that's because I've been allergic to this world for quite a while now. And I have to have a mask in my purse because I'm so sensitive to scenty stuff and chemicals and things like that. That when I go to the grocery store, or when I'm in an environment where there's like scented stuff or something like that. Honey child, I got my mask in my purse, right to go. So that's the only reason why I have a cute mask, you guys. <laughs> but I'm so grateful for it because it was there ready for me when I needed it for this situation too. But it is, it's like wool and it's, it, you know, it's great, but sometimes it protects me from breathing, which <laughs> I don't see how practical that can be. Well, we're gonna get the allergens out and we're not gonna let you get any viruses and stuff, but well, you might not be able to breathe either, sweet darling. Oh, I gotta make fun of it. <laughs> yeah. But you know, there's like, there's trainer, there's like athletes that do, I forget what it's called, but where they uh, do, com they like try to make it harder for themselves to breathe while they're working out. I forget what it's called, but that's what it feels like dancing in this mask. <laughs> but I better put it back on before somebody hollers at me. But there's really nobody around here. Because <laughs> everybody's at home because of quarantine. <laughs> I just, I had to, when I saw this, you guys, I just had to come and be with it, you know? I just had to come and be with this beautiful mural. It just, I feel like it just speaks about what we're going through right now. No. Aww. Hey, Jamie. Jamie. Am I saying that right? Jamie. That is so interesting. What a cool last name. Jupiter. Whoa, I love that. I love the planets. How about that full moon last night? <laughs> it was pink and it was cute and it was big and it was beautiful. And it brought a lot, a lot of um, emanating energy 
that's bringing in a whole new layer of clarity into every cell of life. <laughs> Furthering the concept of the 2020 era. Beautiful stuff, you guys. I hope you're feeling it. Make sure you're releasing any grief or sadness that you're feeling because it ain't nobody got no time to have that staying inside. You know, we have to feel things and that's part of our human experience, but we just, it's not helpful to, for us to get stuck there. So release, release in whatever way it feels good to you. <clears throat> you can write things down on a piece of paper and burn them. It's not witchcraft, it's called alchemy and intentional practicing. Uh, you can do so many beautiful energy workings for yourself and I'm gonna start sharing more about that with you guys but feel free to like move your body in some kind of way that feels good to you get silly you know and feel yourself and so you can feel good you know I mean there's nothing against the law right now about stopping on the side of the road and doing a little dance with the wall I haven't seen any any notifications or any mandates from the governor saying that we can't dance with a wall. <laughs> so I just figured I would. Why not? I hope y'all enjoyed that. I love you and I'm sending you so much good loving energy. I hope you feel it. I hope you enjoyed that. Feel free to come if you haven't already. Come and subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> dance daily for life where I just share videos about dancing for my life <laughs> and just fun videos that I think that are funny to me and I think you'll enjoy it we need laughs right now and laughter is the best medicine you know and if you're not really feeling too good or if you're suffering from the virus I'm sending you so much love I just wrap you with a beautiful bubble of healing energy right now so that thing can skedaddle on out of you. Because <laughs> we need you. I love you all so much. And I'll see you tomorrow.